Jackson Pollock and Lee Krasner were abstract expressionist artists. They created their most famous works of art. In this building, only 21 feet square, Pollock used the studio from 1946 until his death in 1956. Krasner worked here from 1957 through 1982. Today, trees have grown up behind the barn. Let's go back in time to see the studio as it looked when Pollock and Krasner were actually working here. Having the canvas on the floor, I feel nearer, more a, a part of the painting. This way I can walk around it, work from all four sides, and be in the painting. Sometimes I use a brush, but often prefer using a stick. Sometimes I pour the paint straight out of the can. In the case of Blue Poles, Pollock re-entered it, as he put it, many times, spending some six months on it. Over time, layer after colorful layer was added, but Pollock couldn't seem to resolve it. Then he got the idea to use a piece of lumber, a two by four, to apply eight vertical strips of ultramarine blue paint, the so-called blue poles of the title, which helped structure and unify the composition. Portrait in green suggests its imagery abstractly and can be interpreted in various ways. Perhaps Krasner used looping arabesques and verdant coloring to communicate the intangible feelings that both she and Pollock considered to be the true subject matter of their art. There's nothing that I can uh, think of, including spirit, that I conceive away from nature. <laughs>